Well, I'm just walking towards the house. I want to let them know. Yeah, I'm coming to talk to you. I just want to make sure that I'm recording it. I just spoke to the judge. I just spoke to the court and they told you to stop and that I should come to the court. So I'm coming to the court. You may call them to ask, but I have it on record that I spoke to the, to the court. So you can call them. I'm also going to the judge right away, but I'm told to tell you to stop. Yeah, you told me to go to the courthouse, but you were going to take my home. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. no that's I what I was told. Know. You know, we were speaking. I, I also have things on yeah. camera. I told you to go to the court to see if you could be granted a stay to stay in your house. I didn't understand yeah. that. I did not. I was told it would be taken today, regardless. And then you after I can go to the court. Okay, so if I could go in, I need to take some documents if they are yet to be taken. You, no, I can't go in there. Okay, it's on my desk. Okay. All the documents, just get every document on, on, on uh, my desk, the first, the very first one, just a pile of documents, just bring them, and then the one in the shelf under, yes, because I need to take something to the court as well. Yeah, I, just I speak to Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. she's the, she's the, she's Judge Regent's uh, secretary or clerk or something, yes, I spoke to Debbie, yeah, so not a problem at all, so I'll wait for the documents you want to get. Yeah, I can be on the road without going on the property, right? I can walk on the road, right? So here I am. You can see a truck right there. No notice whatsoever to me as a person. But to be, they don't understand that these are two separate properties. And they have refused to go and confirm. And this is the man they brought, you know, all white, as you can see. You know, to lock uh, the home, to lock me out of the home. Yeah, that's him. You can see him to change the lock of the home, to take my thing. Yeah, I'm standing on the road. I'm not on the property. Yeah. These are my things they already put in in a truck. <laughs> can you see the truck? Yeah. I was not served. And these are two separate properties. Separate properties, you can see. Separate properties. Separate properties. Is this all the documents in the desk? Yes, yes. Okay. What are the ones in the shelf? So the whole desk. Right, sir? There's a shelf by the door that has documents as well. Yeah, yeah. Have you yeah. taken those ones already? I need I need just all the documents. And this one uh, my book. Which one? MacBook is there? Okay, yes, that's the desk. Yes, th those are the things in the desk. Yes. No, don't open it. Once you know it's there, just, yeah, I'll just put it in my car. I'll be able to sort them out. Thank you. Thank you so much. So as I said, I got no notice. I got nothing. And these are two separate properties. Yes, I know it looks like one, but for years we have been taxed double. So if we're taxed double, we should they shouldn't take it as one. David and, and Adam Kessler, because they are Caucasians, they are white, they are attempting to take two for the price of one. They did specify 2701. You can just put it there, yeah? 2701, 2702. And I don't see them taking anything out of the other property. They're just focused on where I live. If I own two units, I should be able to say, take the other one and leave me for this. That's all for now. I'm going to the court to Sheila. see the judge. Yeah, so I spoke already to the to the court's house. I'm happy I was able to talk to somebody. Uh, that means that God is in the business of this. No one should lose her husband and lose her home. No one. No one should lose her husband and lose her home. Enough is enough in America where you think that because we have dark skin, you can steal from us. This is the fourth property and this is where I say enough is enough.